So today we're going to show you quickly how to connect a multiplexer IC. So here you can see all the outputs being used to run some LEDs from an Arduino Uno. And you can see the multiplexer chip just hiding in all the wires there. So we're getting eight outputs from a single output. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you want to stay up to date with features and more videos covering a wide variety of topics. So here we have the page on our website on how to use a multiplexer IC which is linked at the bottom in the description. And we can see the wiring diagram here for how we've connected it to our Arduino Uno. And all the pins are referenced in the table. And this chip can run at 3 volts or 5 volts so you'll be able to use it with multiple boards. So if we go over to the sketch example again linked in the description we simply set up the pins and our data from our multiplexer INO sketch. And this defines all the pins which are needed to connect to the IC and set the states of all the output pins, as well as setting up all of them in the correct pin mode. And then we've got the state lookup from the data sheet, which is also on our web page, which shows what values you need to set the state pins to to define which output to use. So we've just stored all of these in an array but of course with the way that they're arranged you could actually use a single byte. And then we've just got a simple function which will set all of those states depending on which index you wish to use. So we're going to write low to our common pin. So this is the pin that will be connected through to one of the multiplexed pins. We're setting that low and then we're just going to cycle through all the pins and then back again. So we'll end up with the video we saw at the start. And the advantage of multiplexers over shift registers is they can be even faster. So here we've set it down to 10 milliseconds instead of the 100 you saw at the start and it's well too fast for the camera. 